welcome back guys uh, welcome to another session of uh, Shomu's biology presents biology math problems and in this video we'll be talking about chi-square problem a typical chi-square rated problem we haven't uh, discussed about any chi-square problem yet so let's begin a hetero red-eyed female was crossed with a red-eyed male the results are shown below the red eyes are sex linked dominant to white determine the chi-square value round to the nearest hundred or uh, you can go for your own so let's let's look at it let's let's solve this problem a little bit so chi square is a process with which we can differentiate between the expected value and the observed value and that's very very important for doing experiments because uh, we need to figure out whether the experiment that we've done whether the you know whether the hypothesis we have formed uh, that hypothesis is correct or not we can accept that hypothesis or we can reject that hypothesis based on the values if you want to study about more about the chi square test and why it's done you can look for the video called chi square test in my youtube channel just search it you will find it and it's my uh, you know advice to look at the chi square uh, what is chi square first then come to solve the problem now usually the chi square problem solved is very very easy because it requires a very basic formula to use and apply and the formula uh, is called the chi you know that's the greek letter chi chi square equals to observed value minus expected value uh, that's that whole square divided by the expected plus observed minus expected square by expected so these are the values and in this case what we know in this case we know for the two different colors that is the red color and the white eyed color both are crossed right so red color red eyed color female was crossed with the red eyed male uh, but we also need to find the white eyed because because in the population what we get we get a red eyed plant as well as a white eyed uh, red eyed uh, fly as well as a white eyed fly very sorry for that now uh, once we know this thing we can simply put the values in here so let's do it for for two things let's do it this one for red this one's for white once we know this we can place the values so x square or chi square observed value minus uh, expected you know the observed value is 134 and expected we don't know that's what we need to figure out plus again uh, for the white it is 66 minus and we don't know the values now that is the first thing to consider to find out the expected values right because that's very very important guys we need to find the expected values the expected red and the expected white that we need to find so let's let's begin with you know this is a trait which is a sex linked dominant sex linked dominant trait that means this trait is uh, x linked the gene for this particular eye color is placed in the x chromosome and once it is present it will show up uh, the color if one of the x is getting this gene then overall the expression will be uh, will be provided or overall the color will be changed or the expression uh, was provided like that so if you begin with it to find out the expected value so let's find out here expected expected values we can simply construct a Punnett square and in this case we can write here as like this so let us place it in the Punnett square we can place simply so let's put it let's put for uh, x to the power capital R and x to the power small r now capital R means it is getting the red eye small r means getting the white eye right and in this case also x capital R and y so what are the values here x capital R x capital R and why we are taking this because you know a red eyed female that means both of the x or one of both of the x can be uh, can have this capital R or one single can have the capital R so let's take one single and red eyed male means obviously one x is present in the male and that will carry the gene capital R so we are getting it x capital R x small r x capital R y x small r y so from that what are the number of uh, getting the value so let's let's put the value here let's put the red and let's put the white the red here is you know this is red this is red so 3 out of 4 population is red so 3 is to 1 that's the ratio now if you know the total number of offspring the total number of offspring here according to the list is 134 plus 66 it is 
200 that's the total number of offspring so if this is the total number of offspring and the ratio of expected for red is 3 so 3 out of you know uh, so 3 3 fourth of 200 will give us 150 and 1 fourth of 200 will give us 50 right because that is how we calculate uh, the expected values. So, for expected value for the red is 150 expected value for the white is 50. So, let us put the value here. So, here what we can put one, 150 divided by 150 this is 50 divided by 50. So, once we put the values what are going to be the answers here we know uh, according to the calculations because I have calculator uh, and we can calculate let us take so actually I have already been calculated so let us put the values at 1.70666 plus and this value I have calculated to be 5.12 once we get the values we add them together and it gives us 6.83 I just round off at the let uh, and the uh, later stages so 6.83 is the chi square value and that is how we can get the value of chi square now in some questions they can simply ask you for the value of chi square sometimes they can ask you for uh, for knowing whether the hypothesis can be accepted or not but still this is the only question to be answered of chi square value and this is 6.83 guys and you know for this question uh, for the answer of this questions you need to do two things one uh, to calculate uh, the expected values which can be calculated using uh, the information that are provided in the question and constructing a simple punch square and the second thing and the second stage is to construct the formula for calculating chi square and put the values getting the answer so simple two step process but it's good enough to test your genetic knowledge as well as mathematical aptitude so it's a very good question and thanks for listening.